All right, so we're inside Prezi. We've got our account started, and we are ready to create one. I'm just going to click on New Prezi, and I'm just going to put a title in here. You can add a description if you like. Click the button, and it brings you to your 3D canvas. It starts off, and it gives you a title here, which you can edit. Uh, but before I do that, you can see you can click and drag it. But before we get started with that, I want to show you the wheel that you use. Inside Prezi, when you just click on an object, it's going to bring up this wheel. And the different ways that it works is like this. In the middle of the wheel, if you click, it'll have you drag it. On the outside edge of the wheel is the rotate. The plus and the minus make it bigger and smaller. And also, the shaded part of the inside wheel, if you click and drag it, it will make it bigger and smaller as well. And anytime you see this pencil come up, that means you can edit that object. So if I want to take this and make my title, click on the pencil, and put it in my title, and hit OK. And one thing I do want to show you is, go back in here to edit. One limitation of Prezi is you can only have three different types of text within a theme. So you can have a main title, a subtitle, and a body. You can also, of course, just like other fonts, you can do bullets here, you can do justification. And while I'm talking about themes, I'm going to show you real quickly how to change the look and the theme, basically. Over here on this wheel are all the different things that you can do. It's not a menu, per se, but it's a wheel. And so when I come back here, if I want to change the colors and themes, I'm going to click over here on colors. Now, I'm not going to do this. This, this theme wizard, I'm going to show you in Beyond the Basics. But these are the general themes. So if I want this theme right here, you just click on the theme, it will change everything within the theme. The text, the background, the colors, and everything else. I'm going to stick with that one. To get back to where I was, I can click this arrow. It takes me back to the main menu wheel. All right, so that's um, text. Now, one other thing that's really neat is every time you click on Prezi you can see a cursor begin. That's where you can put in more text. So if you just click on the canvas you're gonna get more text. Now to move around, like let's say I wanted to take this and I wanted to put it in between testing and title. Something I could zoom into. What I would do is I would take it and on your mouse on your mouse wheel you can go back and forth to zoom in and out. So I could take it and I could shrink it, zoom in, move it, shrink, zoom in some more, shrink it, zoom in some more, shrink it a little bit more. And so now if I zoom all the way out, I've got that object there, but you can barely see it. It's something that's hidden within that 3D canvas. So there it is right here. Now before I start adding some pictures and some video, I do want to let you know that it's a good idea when you do this with your students, just get them in here and show it to them and let them start to play. Um, they'll figure out a lot of this stuff about how to navigate. You can show them some of the basics, but then make sure you just give them some time to play. Um, it's a really fun tool to use, especially for those spatial kids um, that really have that spatial understanding and want to play with spatial uh, logistics. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put in some things that I think are very important. Um, after you've let kids play, it's really important whenever you do a Prezi to think about your content and how you want to present the information. You may even sketch it out on paper before you do it on Prezi. Um, just have a general idea of how you want things to work together, where you want things to be placed, and things like that. And what's really going to be helpful? What's really going to be helpful to you are these frames. Now. It does say frames are now groups, which is a big improvement. What that means is when I put something into a frame, it's going to group it together. Let me show you how that works. There are four different kinds of frames. There's a bracket, a circle, a filled in rectangle, and a hidden frame. That's a new one. I like that one. Let me show you the bracket. What you're going to do when you've got one chosen is you're just going to click and drag around whatever you want to be in the frame. And then it will pop that frame in. Now why is that important? 
That's important because whenever you go at the end of your presentation, you're going to create a path which tells the Prezi which things come first, next, 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 next. Instead of a linear presentation like a PowerPoint, you can add a path to the different places on the canvas. And to do that, you're really going to want to put a frame on all the important pieces. So to show you that, I'm going to zoom in here. I, I put my uh, other text right inside my G. I've gone as far as I can. And I'm going to put a frame right around there. And then I'm going to zoom back out. So now I have two frames, the big title frame and the small frame within there. Now let me show you why that's important. Once you've added all your text and your images and your video, you're going to click on path. In fact, let me show you real quick how to add the pictures before I do the path. You can insert, if I click on insert, I can go to shapes, I can do lines, I can do uh, swiggles, I can do highlighter, show you some of that real quick. I can insert an image, so I'm going to select a file from my computer real quick. I don't know what these will be, these will probably be of my kids. Oh sure, that's a cute one, there's a Christmas picture. It'll upload the file and it will put it right into the Prezi. And just like the titles that we did, it's going to have a wheel to come up whenever you click on it. So if I take these cuties and I drag them up here, I can make it bigger and smaller. I'm going to rotate it just to show you something in the frames a little bit later. Now with pictures you don't and video, you don't necessarily need to put a frame around it because the picture itself will be a frame. When I go to add the path here in a moment, you'll see that the picture itself will be a frame. So you don't have to add a frame around pictures. But text, you definitely want to do it. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick how to insert a YouTube video. I've got my list of videos up here. I'm going to bring in just one of mine. And I'm just going to copy the URL, which is the top. And in Prezi, when I click on YouTube, it's going to ask you to paste the YouTube link here. And then hit Insert. And so you can pull videos directly from YouTube and place them right into your presentations. Very cool. You can also insert uh, drawings. That's new. They've got uh, 12 drawings here, timelines, cycles. These are basically templates. So if you want to do something that is within these 12 ideas, um, you would probably do this first and then add your own text into it. Let me show you real quickly. I hope it doesn't mess up my thing too much. I'm going to put a timeline and hit choose. What it does is it takes this and it creates a timeline within your presentation. So I would take it, and this is basically a template. I can choose these different things, change the numbers if I need to, and use it as a template. Let me show you, though, how to insert a file. <clears throat> Just to show you exactly what files you can do, you can insert images, video files, or PDFs, which is really helpful. All right, so we've got some stuff on our presentation. This isn't a very good one, but I want to show you the last step, and that is creating a path. If I click on path, um, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the very first thing you want to start off your presentation. That's typically the title. Now, I put a frame around the title, so I'm going to click on the frame instead of the title itself. You can click on the title, but I'm going to use the frame that I had. So first I click on there, and you can see it puts a number one. That is going to be the first thing that I have. Then I'm going to zoom in to my second thing I wanted to show. I'm going to click on the frame around it. Now I've got a two. The third thing that I want to show is going to be this awesome drawing right here. Click on it. There's a three. Then I want to show this video. Click on it. There's a four. Then I want to show this picture of my girls. There's a five. Then I want to show this timeline. There's number six. And finally, I'm going to come back to my title, make it circular, and click on it, which puts it at number 7. That's as easy as it is to create a path. It will now show those things in that order. To show you that, I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to click on Show. So, here we go. I'm going to make it full screen, just so you can see it. 
And now I've got my show tools down here. Very first thing is my title. Zoom in. There's my text on the inside. There's my beautiful drawing, number three. There's my video, number four. I'm not going to let it play. My girls, number five. <laughs> and my timeline, number six. And finally, number seven was back to my title at the beginning. And so that's how you do it. Those are the basics of Prezi. This is a long video, but uh, like I said, it's a more advanced tool. Um, and really let your kids play with this, play around with it, and uh, use those frames and those paths to start creating a, a, a presentation. In the next video, we're going to talk a little bit more about the advanced things. There are some definitely some advanced things that you can do in here. Um, and so stick around. That will be in Beyond the Basics. Mm -hmm.